God bless you all. Good people. Great people. God's people. People of God. God bless you. And thank you for tuning in to another segment of Let's Clear the Air. Almost say Repair of the Breach, y'all. That's the name of my uh, ministry, Repair of the Breach, where I am your host, Dr. Deidre Chandler. And I just wanted to jump on here real quick to tell somebody, be yourself, okay? Don't let nobody change you but God. Do not conform to other people's ways or society ideologies. Only allow God to change you. Because when God changes you, it's a great change. It's a great change. I haven't been on here for a minute, you all. I said I was going to do a test run with this. And um, I don't know that I'm going to continue. Let's clear the air. It's just because I would love to be able to go live. But I can't really go live on YouTube. And I would just love to have the feedback and be able to interview people and talk about certain things. So... I'm not sure that I'm going to continue. This may be my last month. However, if you would like to still, you know, check out my videos and things like that, um, you can always type in my name. I have a non-for-profit organization, Broken But Healed, and the name of my ministry is Repair of the Breach International Ministries. So, I really focus a lot on um, transformation as far as, um, you know, getting ahead, achieving goals. And I have a special interest in women that have been abused, battered. Uh, in, in, in domestic type of violence situations to help them to come out, to break free. Uh, and so I don't really think this platform is um, really feasible to me for that, but I'm still praying on it. And uh, until the Lord says otherwise, I will, you know, make the videos. There's a couple of topics you all put out there that you wanted to hear. So I am going to uh, try to make some videos of those at least before I just sign off completely. Um, My son and I, uh, though lookalike, was very different in a lot of ways. And I I do. I love my son. I miss him uh, dearly. And I always told him that he was one of a kind. He was in a class all by himself. It was only one Ryan Chandler. And uh, so um, you all just keep us uh, lifted in prayer and and uh, please leave your feedback, um, but just please keep it clean. Like I always say, let's be respectful one of another. And um, until then, remember, be yourself. Do not try to conform to society's ways. Do not try to go along with the crowd because many times the crowd is lead, leading or heading, I should say, the crowd is heading for destruction. So uh, even Jesus said uh, in the Bible, it says the, the way to God is narrow, the way to heaven or the way to righteousness. It is a narrow way. It's very narrow and there be few that find it. Only a few. Only a few will walk on that narrow path. Don't allow anybody to change you but God. And what I mean is if the Lord is dealing with you about some things in your life, in your character, that you need to change, some things that you need to stop doing, if you in sin, period, blatantly, you know you need to turn away. We all have something that we go through and struggle with, not necessarily practicing sin, but there may be weights in our lives. And then there is time that we sin. And we know that in John said, um, I believe it's uh, 2 John, 
I, I don't have the scripture in front of me, you all. It might be First John that said, if you sin, you have an advocate. I have an advocate with the Father. Jesus Christ is my advocate. If I sin, I can confess my sins and he is faithful and just to forgive me of all unrighteousness. But if I say I have no sin, then I'm a liar and the truth is not in me. So like I always tell people, everybody got something from the pulpit to the back door. So this is why we really can't look down on anybody. However, we must preach and teach this word. And if the word of God said, that's, then that's what it is. And God is not changing his laws and his word just because the government is. Okay. Let God be true and every man be a liar. God is yet on the throne. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man can come to the Father except through him. And how we going to get to know about him is to get in his word. Develop that relationship that you need with him so that now you can examine yourself based upon what the word of God tells you. And of course, in your prayer time with the Lord, those of you that hear from the spirit of the Lord may tell you. And so I wanted to just come and let somebody know, be encouraged, you know, uh, be motivated, be strengthened and be yourself. Be yourself because there's only one authentic you. God bless you for now. This has been your host, Dr. Deidre Chandler. Until next time, peace be unto you. God bless.